Well, hello fellow Rainmakers and welcome to this briefing with me, Mark Stonham. And the topic for this segment is priorities and particularly as we approach for the recording here, it is the end, approaching the end of June, which for a lot of businesses is not only month end, but quarter end as well. And for an opportunity here to reflect and review on how do we manage our time towards a deadline and different people and different businesses have different um, hard or soft deadlines around the uh, quarter end for example um, other people have a, a term by term basis which i tend to operate on which is the sort of three terms of a school year so my my deadline would tend to be sort of middle of uh, middle of july as the, as the schools break up so i have about like three or four weeks towards that but whatever the milestone the deadline you're, you're working to um, coming out of company sales world there was a lot because of financial reporting particularly there was a lot more focus on the financial year end the calendar year end the first quarter fast start and things like that which really drove activity and reallocation of resources so i remember some situations where there was a like a war room uh, set up three or four weeks before the end of the year just to make sure that all the deals were progressed um, and, and things were facilitated and able to make those happen properly with uh, product supply and things like that. But for a lot of the senior professionals, um, we're managing our own uh, pipeline of business, our own chargeable work, um, and looking for, for work coming down the track. So for this, I really looked at it in th uh, three levels for working, working within the business, as it were. So the three tracks I've identified is Focus on revenue for revenue for this quarter. So what can be got across the line as it were, so that projects that are underway can be signed off and invoiced so that the revenue comes through at whatever um, billing agreement there is. Um, revenue for the next quarter. So what is on the pipeline at the moment that's not yet been closed? and could be moved to a point where there is agreement, agreement to proceed, agreement to move from a selling buying phase into delivering fee earning work for those clients and revenue for the quarter beyond that. So what is there that's coming through that maybe depending on your sales cycle timings and so on, the need to look at creating opportunities now that could be closed in say three months or four months time that could be delivered and invoiced three or four months after that. So keeping an eye on the, the, the forward uh, revenue so that there is a, ideally a smooth transition, particularly to, to try and avoid the feast and famine scenario of working so hard on delivering to lots of client deadlines now that it takes the focus away from closing deals for the next quarter or term and building pipeline of opportunities for the term beyond that. So it's not to say that there's um, an all or nothing approach to things, and, and I would avoid the trying to encourage you not to have the everything's focused on delivery and leaving the, the pipeline for some time in the future. So there are, there are a lot of things that can be done around that. So maybe allocate uh, an hour here, an hour there, a couple of hours to something that puts it in the diary for uh, moving deals forward in the pipeline, for example, to do some prospecting, um, to make sure that there's a balance in the activity that uh, is done, uh, and also to look at the objectives. So if you have, say, half a dozen deals on the pipeline, would you have conversations with the, all, all six of those and put it to them to say politely, can we move ahead with this or is this not a priority for you or is there anything that we can do to make it a priority for you so that has some sort of conversation there that mm, puts the you know puts them in a situation where you're looking for a yes or no um rather than a maybe and moves moves that into you know clarity where should you focus your activity and, and time and so on uh and similarly with with new opportunities is there a, a numeric value you could be saying okay we need to make contact uh, with 
establish connection with 50 new people over the next couple of weeks uh, and have conversations with 10 of those people, line those conversations up for early in the next period. So uh, if fortnight's time, we'll put it into early July. So make sure there's phone calls booked for early July so that those can be um, undertaken and, and start to build that pipeline through into, uh, into the summer in this particular case. So that's looking at the priorities and what could be done to manage that portfolio. Um, recognizing that we're in that, what I class as the middle ground. Some people have a business model where they focus on only one client at a time, the sort of an interim model which can be very fruitful when they've got a continuous flow of, of, of business at very good day rates. Um, but if that contract finishes, then that could mean a long period off, uh, off fees, looking for the next one, lining the next one up. The other extreme is looking at, for, for those businesses that have very, lots of very small deals, and there's a different cycle of managing those, look much more focused on numbers and conversion ratios and so on. But in the middle there, there's a sort of the, the, the relationship management side of things and how one manages those relationships, adds value, keeps the contact rate going through multiple uh, contact channels. So the phone calls, the um, emails, marketing email, the nurture and those sort of activities that can be set up and uh, uh, allow a lot of the contact to be made in an automated way that doesn't mean it needs to be um, uh, managed individually with the risk of, of you know human priorities the priorities on other things and, and the follow-up uh, nudge is, is is forgotten or put to one side for a week or two so just focusing this down to what what next then so are there specific things you could look at as we approach the uh, the end of this period to say with these clients these things need to happen i need to gain agreement if the things are on their desk waiting for sign off then can we get those signed off? Can we get this accepted? Can we agree that we will now invoice if that's if that's the, the term that once they've accepted we invoice so that we move into the, the payment terms process? Also thinking about can we get a, a testimonial from them as part of that wrap up? Um, then looking at those deals that are on the pipeline, identify ones that could be moved forward now without rocking the boat as it were but just to say, okay, of the six, 10, 15, whatever deals, how many of those could we make an improvement on by putting a phone call through, sending some information, keeping it on their priority list? Um, and, and then building the, the, the pipeline of opportunities for the, the quarter after, um, spending some time you know, reaching out through LinkedIn, making new connections with the, uh, with, with the groups that, uh, uh, and profiles you're, you're keen to start to do business with. Um, I hope that's useful to give you some tips about taking a structured approach to things. Uh, I know for some people it can be a challenge to have that accountability. For those who are independent, it's easy to slide these things without, if there isn't a, uh, a manager or a director holding one accountable for things. Uh, if you need to some, somebody to, to hold you accountable, then uh, let me know and I'll, um, uh, have a chat with you and uh, offer some tips and uh, maybe if you wish be an accountability partner for you uh, but meanwhile I wish you a successful week or so if, the, if you're listening to this live before the end of uh, end of June um, and otherwise whenever you're listening to this I hope you have a successful next week or month as you bring some of those deals through to fruition thank you for your time